The first one in Chino, it was uh, three weeks. And uh, my dad had called me. How's it going? I was like, we'll be done tomorrow. He's like, what do you mean? And then he was like, yeah, I was like, we'll be done tomorrow. And sure enough, it was just me and one guy. That was it. Me and one other guy. And we did the entire job, 10 buildings. We over excavated them and brought them back to pad grade and just left the streets to be cut. We did it in four days. It was phenomenal. I was very, after that, I was sold. I was 100% sold. I was like, this, this works. So my name's Jose Madrigal, I'm Vice President of King General Construction. We service largely all of Southern California and uh, we specialize in grading and excavation from the smallest piece of equipment that we possibly own, being a small Kubota, to earth movers that move thousands of yards at the time. I wanted to join the Air Force and fly a helicopter and then, and then I got hurt and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't join anymore. So uh, I was at a crossroads and luckily my dad provided me with a, pa a small path. While I was going to school, I was present and mostly online, taking tests on my laptop, doing schoolwork while in my truck at work, uh, at the same time trying to manage a starting business from a cell phone and a laptop in my truck, which was a real pain. But we got through it and luckily I, I made it. In 20, late 2018, I graduated and uh, just basically said, okay, I'm going head first because this is no longer an idea, this is not reality. We started, do, we started uh, with the Basin Rover. Well, uh, when we first got the system out in one of my jobs, it was a mass grading job. And the guys from Dirt gave it to me for a week. And I was very, I was very concerned thinking, uh, I was thinking, what if I get stuck? What if I get lost? And, uh, and Dirt Prep was kind enough to come out and teach me on the system. So as, as we're walking around, I was looking at the tablet and I realized I had the entire project in my hand. So as I took one step, I knew, oh, I'm four tenths above grade. Oh, I'm four tenths below grade. Oh, here's the line. Oh, look, I can just push it out, set a five foot offset. Now I'm five feet outside of the line. So I can put a stake here and not worry them about blowing them blowing it out when they come throwing in dirt. And I thought that was phenomenal. And I was able to finish that job instead of three weeks and four days. From that job, we moved on to a bigger one. And I, I didn't feel like walking because on that job, I walked roughly six miles a day because I was constantly checking grade and looking at my corners because I didn't feel like putting up stakes all the time. So I decided to set up my base, put my rover on my ATV, which is a little scary in the beginning because it's a 20,000 piece of, piece of hardware. And I placed it on top of the ATV and we went through two variations. He, my dad was here and I had the guys here and we're like, it's not gonna work too much vibration. I was worried and I called, I would, I would call the guys at Dirt Prep. And they're like, well, this is what I've come up with. And I finally figured out, we manufactured a small rig to make it work so it would vibrate less. And I hooked up my tablet with a bunch of Ram mounts and Frankensteined it, put a toolbox on my ATV and took it out to the job. And I was literally following scrapers around, making sure where my grade, I was going 15 miles an hour, just looking at my tablet saying, oh, I'm, I'm three feet low here, oh, I'm almost here. Okay, so dump dirt here, and I would turn around on the radio. This, and I would just give them all instructions as I was moving back and forth with the equipment. And it was, honestly, it was fun. It was a very fun two weeks that I spent doing that. And uh, my productivity went through the roof because I no longer had to get off. I didn't have to stop equipment. I was just go, 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 go. From the second we started, to the second we did, the second we started our day, to the second we ended our day, it was constant productivity. We knew exactly where we were at all times. I was doing daily topography, uh, basically knowing exactly how much dirt I was putting in, how much was left, where I was going to move it the next day. Uh, but there was certain buildings that have uh, parking structures, small parking structures, parking bays, and they're half radiuses. So it's a line with a half circle. The cars parked like this on both sides. Imagine like a elongated oval and they park in there and the radiuses were weird and I had asked I had asked uh, uh, superintendent can I just blow those out he goes no they want you to leave them so I was like okay so I literally just walked with my rover and a can of spray paint and just like walked the circle just shh, like nothing like it was so simple and I sprayed it out we cut it and we left it it was, a, it was literally as simple as finding the line on the tablet. It's like, oh, there it is. Zoomed out, walked it, and sprayed it, and it was done. There was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I mean, I could have staked it out, but I would have wasted time and material. 
So we just did it like that and it worked out great. So I did that and uh, after I basically felt comfortable with the base and rover, Dominic that works for Dirt Prep told me, he goes, oh, we just installed the GPS system on a skip loader. I was like, oh, you guys can do that? He goes, yeah, and he explained it to me. We did it on Dozer, we can do it on Blades. We do it just about everything. And in the moment we were like, okay, like my dad was interested in doing it on a skip loader, but then almost seems out of nowhere, we just bought a Dozer. And then Jason was like, hey, why don't you check this out? Because how the small demonstration he gave us here at the yard was he, he made a model with just the system itself, a flat surface model. We pushed the button and then I just saw that big drop. And I would manipulate it like if we were actually like say it hit a rock or manipulate it like that. It was would go again. It would just completely bounce back and keep that keep that level. And that was it. I even I even put an actual magnetic level on the blade, and uh, I put one on the the machine comes with the percentage of the blade, and I would just work back and forth. I wanted to I wanted to beat it, and I couldn't. So far, like in all my rigorous small tests that I've done, I, I haven't been able to beat it. But uh, I'm not gonna stop trying. Well, now we have the the dozer with machine control. We wanna. I want to do parks, like recreational parks, like huge. Because we've had opportunities to do uh, soccer field and stuff like that, but they have like strict, like we want dual GPS or double laser grading. And in the past, we didn't have that. And so we had to pass on that. It was almost financially irresponsible for us to pass on that, but we had to, because we didn't have what they wanted. And now we could be like, okay, just let me set up really quick. Give me 20 minutes and get my equipment here and then I have a few water trucks and my guys, and we'll just go on and grade. And uh, I want to get into that. I want to get to grading roads, making parks as pretty as possible, and just big projects. That's what I'm very interested in. I want to do bigger and better projects.